to know which one Richie picked out and which one Lori picked out for us. Richie picked out this one for me. I know he did. Thank you, Richie. I appreciate it because this <laughs> is a really good one. Our next Patreon pour is from Richie and Lori. Richie and Lori, thank you so much for sending us some samples. He sent us five samples and F, which is number six. And we were, he, he basically said, do it in the blind or not. It's mostly for David. So uh, that, I don't know if that makes me excited or scared, but either way, we're going to throw it in the blind and see how it does against the rest of the competition. All right. Richie and Lori said, David and Jamie, you will find six sample bottles in this package. Bottle F is more for David. Oh. We prepared this so you can use it as a blind that would uh, you would rank, or you can use it as a tasting if you prefer. The envelope reveals the names and pictures of each bottle. We hope you enjoy these as much as we enjoy watching Whiskey Row and Beyond the Row. I gotta say, David, sample F looks a little malorty. It's very light. I'm a little nervous, but we'll we'll roll with it. <laughs> and you have the, the answer key over there, Jamie? Yes. Jamie's got the answer key. It's all sealed up. All sealed up. We're gonna do this. We're gonna pour these up and get started. Yellowstone single barrel store pick. That smells really nice. Really? It smells super woody to me. See, I'm getting a rich, Ooh. I'm getting a lot of sweet notes. Creamy pudding, like vanilla pudding. I'm getting some uh, caramel notes, brown sugar. I get a little bit of oakiness, but it's more of kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a, it's a nice sweet wood. To me, I, I get like the woody note. I get some peanut shell, caramel, mild caramel, a little bit of vanilla. Mm -hmm. It smells high proof to me. Higher proof, at least. It's kind of burning on the nose. Oh, that's hot. That is burning right up front. Oh, yeah. That's got some proof on it. Oaky with wow. a little bit of like that vanilla cream. But it's spicy. Spicy, peanut shell, baking spices. A nice Cody mouthfeel. Very though. Cody mouthfeel. Higher proof. See, the finish settles nice. The finish actually, because it's so spiky at first, yeah. I'm like, whoa, I'm not sure I like this. And then it, it picks you up with that like creamy vanilla and then it finishes in this like kind of sticky syrup. Yeah, that... you get a little candy cherry on the finish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely finishes nice. A little, it's a little spiky, a little all over the place, but it comes together toward the end really kind of pleasant. This one's a nice hot Cinnabon just cooking it's bacon and the frosting is just like melting off of it i get your cinnabon but i'm also getting a really strong wood note is my nose broken tonight jamie i think it might be oh no this is all i get a little bit of maple syrup in there too i do but it's it's proofy as well like maple syrup pancakes hmm. Hmm. well jamie guess what what I just did all of that on sample A. So we're going to have to reshoot that whole thing because I screwed up. I'm like, damn, this one's just like the first one. <laughs> this one smells like, oh, I don't know what's wrong I was like, with this my one palette. smells like the first one. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. This one is oh. like a fresh baking Cinnabon. The frosting is melting off of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that... Super desserty, very baked cinnamon yeah. dough. Wow, there's a little bit of an earthiness to it. Yeah. But like that cinnamon sugar cinnamon thing is yeah. rocking on. It this also one. reminds me of like what is that rock candy kind of thing, like a rock candy necklace kind of thing. Very candy like, very sugar candy like. Oh yeah. That gives me. It's almost like the sweet, it's not as sweet as it was on the nose. Mm -mm. Like an almond nuttiness kind of thing. Yeah, I get that. With a little bit of like a milky creamy kind of thing. There is that milky cream thing. It's very, very proofy. Yes, spicy. And, and very spicy. And it kind of ends with a little bit of maple syrup. That milky thing that it has going on is not a, a flavor I love. Mm-mm. But it's really, really interesting on this one because I get the milky part, but I don't get the cereal grain. Normally, mm -hmm. I get the two together. And it doesn't. It almost has a like a pecan -y taste at the end, too. A little bit. Yeah. Well done, Jamie. Yeah. It's good. Cut above bottled and bond. Ooh, this one has a nice floral note on it, like a berry floral mm -hmm. kind of thing. I get a little bit of that 
spice. But what's that note on there? Very like, it's almost like strawberry raspberry sauce or something. Yeah, there is a kind of a tart berryness to it. Like what are those um, little cakes, like short cakes? And you put, um, they have like the little holes in the top. Yeah, to put strawberries, to put like to put strawberries, sugar like strawberries in with Strawberry cream. shortcake or something. It does. It has a similar note to that for sure. Mm -hmm. Strawberries and cream. Wow, that finish. Like raspberry, grape. I'm getting all kinds of like berryness on the finish. I am, but I'm. Not, it's not like a buffalo trace berry. Mm -mm. It's really good though. Wow, that is awesome. It kind of has like um, maybe not as sweet, but it's like it kind of has a willet berry, like the purple top kind of thing. It does almost a little. It, to me, this one comes across with a little bit of a weediness. There's like a wheat grain, a wheat berry kind of thing going on. I'm kind of getting like a blackberries and cream. I am. Like I'm over here looking at the 13th Colony um, bourbon. This is way proofier than that one. Yeah. So but this is actually really a good one. I like this one. I, I love this one. Pritchard's Double Chocolate. This has a little funk on it. I ain't going to lie. Some uh, Not funk, but like this one has a little bit of musty. This smells like this, this smells like an Irish whiskey to me. It's musty. It's it's more than a must. Malty a little bit maybe. It's like more, I get it's more like malted maltiness. barley. It's not terrible on the nose though. Sometimes I get it and I'm like, whoa. I like it, but it reminds me of a like a red breast twelve cast strength, or maybe even a like a an Irishman. Whoa. That is like chocolate ball maltiness. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the, the pepper literally surfaces up like yeah. this. Like I was feeling like it was, it was climbing and it just like, and I end with a white pepper. Yeah. I thought it smelled like an Irish, but it does not taste like an Irish. To me, this tastes like a Texas whiskey. That's I'm getting not, those that's, malty that's not my chocolate thing. notes. Wow. Elijah Craig barrel proof store pick. Ooh. I'm getting a very, very floral and berry quality to it. Along with like a um, a very fluffy marshmallow cream kind of thing. Yes. Like a, a dollop of Cool Whip. I get what you're saying, Jamie. I think you're right. I like This that. one's very, very pretty on the nose. Yeah, but it's not only pretty, but it has some of those uh, dessert notes I like. Yeah, it does. So. Not on the palate. Very interesting on the palate. A lot, very woody, a lot of barrel quality to it. Well, so at the beginning, I got berryness. Then it rolled into like a, I got a dry wine, like a, mm -hmm. like a red wine. And then it rolled into that creamy fluffiness I was talking about. Okay. To me, the finish but, is a spicy brown sugar. It, yeah, it's actually really, really good. I, I have an aftertaste of that, like... Um, cool whippy kind of thing though. I get what you're saying, but on top of that cool whip, there's this brown sugar and this really overwhelming spicy note. Yeah, the more and more I sip it, I like it too. I don't love it, but it's growing on me. It's very bitter and like a overly charred barrel up front. And then it kind of mellows a little bit and goes, the finish though goes forever. The it, super it long does. finish Cody. with this spicy brown sugar. Very Cody mouthfeel. Very nice. Yeah, the brown sugar, every time I sip it more, um, it it oh. comes across even sweeter. The Glen Livet Founders Reserve. David. Jamie. So in honor of this being a special pour for David, instead of us doing it at the same time, I'm going to let you do it first. All right, sounds good. To me, this smells like an Irish. It's like dried fruits... A little bit kind of like a sour melon. A little bit of like leather. It reminds me of like a white wine. Like grapey, like a white grape. A little bit, a little bit. I wouldn't agree, disagree with you. Let's drink it. There's definitely like a dried, um, like a dried fruit quality to it. There's a little bit of, it's really good mouthfeel though. Holy cow. No, shh. This has a really good mouthfeel. This thing is really interesting. Well, it, for me, for me, it, 
<laughs> Stop, David. <laughs> For me, it tastes like a um, a like room temperature white grape with no sweetness, kind of um, whiny in ways. To me, this re this reminds me of a uh, a pear mm -hmm. that is at room temperature mm -hmm. and a little tart, almost like the peel of a pear. Mm -hmm. It's so, David. I changed my rankings a lot. I didn't. I, I went. Pretty, I, I pretty, went back and forth all over the place. I pretty much had my rankings from the first time we tasted it. Because they changed as I kept drinking. Uh, maybe, maybe so, but they didn't change my opinions of them. Mm. My sixth place is in David's glass. We don't know what that is, but it was for. It was mainly for David. Yeah, so. I think it's an Irish. I'm not really including it in my rankings. I'm not calling it six. I'm not calling it first. It's just in the blind and I liked it for what it is. My fifth place was this guy. It was multi and it was chocolate, like a multi chocolate ball, black pepper, and then it turned, the finish was white pepper. Yeah, that was my fourth place tonight. My fourth place was spiky oak. It was a vanilla spice with dark cherry. It was good and I liked it. I changed it like three times in my rankings. This was my fifth place. My third place, guys, this was interesting, okay? I got a pecan cookies. I got like some, like they were being dipped in some milky cream. After I went back to them again, I felt like they were almost baking right in my mouth. Yes, that was my third place. It's got some charry barrel quality, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. And the pecan cookie thing is good. Nothing wrong with this one. This is one, I know this isn't one that you would probably sip on on a regular basis. This is one that I would sip on. And enjoy this is a good one my second place was like a berry raspberry cream a little bit of wheat and i changed that a few times that almost was number one i like this one this one's really really good very nice fruity quality to it berries and cream like you said i think you're spot on it was my second place as well my number one was this guy it yeah. was like floral berry little bit of like vanilla spice it had a dollop of cool whip it starts off very, very complex, a little spicy, mm -hmm. and then it goes into the, like all the notes that you said, which are really, really good. It was my first place tonight. Answers, David. I can can't. you get it? Can you get it? I can can't you get it, stop. David? David. Help me out here. Can you get it? Do you love me? Please give it. <gasps> here, I'll just give it to you. All right. Tonight in the envelope, let's open it up. The bottle answers tonight. Uh, Richie and Lori, thank you so much for the samples and the blind tonight. We appreciate your support. This was pretty darn good. Jamie, okay, we have a, it looks like we have a page per bottle. Let's it, start with number oh. F. I know that's not a number, but F, which Jamie poured in my glass already, which we kind of included in the blind, but we didn't rank. And it's all yours. It's all mine. I thought it was an Irish, but it's not. It's a Glenlivet. It is Glenlivet um, Founders Reserve. All right, fifth place for Jamie and fourth place for me is Pritchard's Double Chocolate. Oh, Pritchard's Double Chocolate. We picked up on that chocolate for sure. Yeah, that one's really interesting. That was my is that a store fourth pick place? Your fifth place. My fifth place, Jamie's fourth place, was position A, which was Yellowstone Single Barrel Store Pick. All right, third place for both of us tonight in position B is Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. Yeah, we have had this before. Oh, we have this had this one. This is the rye we really like. All right, second place for both of us in position C is Cut Above Bottle and Bond Straight Small Barrel. I've never heard of that. Never before. heard of it, never tried it, but guess what? We both liked it pretty darn good. All right, coming in first place for both of us tonight is Elijah Craig Store Pick Barrel Proof coming in. It's an it's an 11 year age state 116 proof store pick. Thank you so much Richie and Lori for these amazing pours. Yeah. They were good, very enjoyable tonight. David, what did you think of your pour? I am very, very happy, and I this Founders Reserve by Glenlivet is something I've never had before, 
and excited that I got to try it. Richie and Lori, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Rope, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you love discovering amazing new whiskeys. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.